in recent news, Isabella, the Russia junkie, the uh, insane girl, uh, I say that, the insane monster that went out of her way to encourage Chris Chan to rape and molest his own mother and who in recordings is shown to enjoy Chris Chan's depravity in some sick, twisted way. She is a true manipulative psychopath. I'm not thinking that he's actually going to go fuck his mom and we're going to go to the convention together. That's all thrown out the window because of what he's telling me. I'm planning to put him in jail. I'm trying to get as much like possible information from him. Okay. That's, I don't understand what it's hard to believe about that. I don't understand. I'm not saying it's hard to believe. You are saying that's hard to believe. I'm just saying that specifically, specifically the part where you encourage him to have a lot of fun before the convention is just... Yeah, I'm trying to get him to talk. What do you mean? Do you think do you think that's actual genuine? That's me genuinely saying I really hope you do this. With the kind of with the kind of people him, with that, the, that, that tells you that I'm interested in incest? For fuck's sake, dude. With the kind of people who who have associated with Chris in the past, anything is possible. And you should know this. What? With the kind of people who have associated with Chris in the possible in, in the past, you should know that this is po at least possible. That people might take no. your, like people might take other people's intentions like incorrectly. I know, like you know, like people, but like you know, I if mean, you're going to, like not not you specifically, but I'm just saying, like if anyone online is like you know going to have a transcript, just just expect some things to like be like misconstrued. Never heard anybody say. I, I maybe that's what somebody I said. Don't, don't, don't care. Don't, never I, heard anybody who said, I'm, "Wow, I'm, she's interested in it." The point is, I'm not. So what does it matter? What does it matter? I know you're not. I'm just, I'm just like talking about like based on like what you and Gungan are talking about. All I, I'm, That's I'm just great. a bystander. I know, I understand that. But what I, I'm wondering, why is that the only fucking question you're asking? What well, he's asking, I mean, why is that the only question that you're asking continuously? I told you, I'm not because... obsessed. I got the, because I said that he started talking more. I wanted to figure out if he's going to do it more. If he's going to continuously do it. I'm reflecting what he's telling me. I'm repeating it back to him. So you're going to do it more before the convention. I'm reflecting what he's trying to tell me. And plus, what you said verbatim is isn't even what I said. I'm trying to reflect on what he's telling me so I could get more information of him. That's what I thought was in Um She is uh via her lawyer, her legal team apparently, uh sent a cease and desist of some kind to Kiwi Farms. These things always go well. Rules of nature. Uh, we have a very old tradition called Rules of Nature, which hasn't been done in years at this point. Basically, when a request comes in that's polite and asks for a courtesy removal, I may put it up to vote. So here's the request from Null himself. Lambert Worldwide, business attorneys and international advisors, August 31st, 2021, via email, kiwifarms, admin at kiwifarms.net, re, courtesy, Yonka. To whom it may concern, we have been, we have been retained by Isabella Yonka, in connection with an article published on your website at the following URL. Uh, just every page. Is this just every, like pretty much every page of the thread where her name has been mentioned? That's pretty impressive. Uh, some, I can't be every page where she's been mentioned, but it might be. While we support free speech rights, our client does have some concerns about the content contained at this URL. Our client believes there are additional facts and or context of which you may be unaware that would change the nature of the story or result in potential inaccuracies. Furthermore, our client would like to make you aware of the ongoing negative impacts on themselves as a result of the, the above URL and the case with which it is discoverable via simple internet search engines. Oh, baby, if you don't know the Chris Chan story, I will ask old man to quickly do a TLDR if he doesn't mind. Please, baby. Please, please, baby, old man. Love you. <laughs> TLDR in the chat. Uh, we are happy to provide details related to the above. However, due to the sensitive nature of some information, including health issues, etc., we are only able to do so if you agree to keep any information disclosed strictly off the record. Oh my God, don't agree to give Noel more information. What are you doing? Please be advised that this letter does not constitute a notice of intent to take legal action. We have advised our client of the difficult nature of bringing such, such actions and that it is not in their best interest to attempt to do so. Furthermore, though the undersigned is an attorney, we have been engaged as negotiators and facilitators. Okay, this is, this is interestingly legal, wow. You work in New York, Florida and France, eh? Licensed in New York. 
to practice at law. Wow. TLDR, Chris Chan is sitting in jail right now for raping his mum, and Isabella was found as being the source of not only the recordings, but the person who pushed him to do it. And she has a very rich CIA daddy, and she's used everything to try and shut up Kiwi Farms, and now she has a whole devoted subform for being a psychopath. Because Chris Chan is the world's, like, most... Like, I, I hate labeling people as autistic, but he's diagnosed autistic, and he is the most autistic person. Like, as in, you know when I talk about gullible, easily to manipulate, easy to trick, easy to persuade to do things because you don't know right from wrong, and if somebody tells you something is right enough times, you're so autistic, you'll just believe it. That is his kind. He is programmable as such by the influences of those around him into doing absurd, illegally depraved actions. Is that horrible thing where it's like, this probably would have never happened had the internet never come for him. But at the same time, justice is served because the internet is there. It's so fucked. Easily the most, the most easily manipulated human ever. 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 I never used to feel any sympathy or pity to Chris Chan, and it's almost impossible to because of this situation, but there is a slight amount. A slight amount. Because... They should have been protected, and their mother should have been protected from this. And the people that did these things and encouraged these things and recorded these things are monsters on another level, you know? There's the person that does the act, and then there's the person that films and enjoys and shares in the act out of some voyeuristic intent. That That is terrifying to me, those people. Really terrifying. Christian is just mentally ill. A client simply wishes to put this incident behind them and move on with their lives. While it is important that information be archived, surely one must not be punished in perpetuity. It is no secret that the internet and technology have made it increasingly difficult for anyone to put even the smallest amount of his mistakes firmly behind them and move on. Therefore, we would like to request that the article in question be removed from your website. Alternatively, we are open to compromise arrangements such as de-indexing the article or perhaps removing our client's name from the article. <laughs> Thank you for this, your time and consideration of this request. Please feel free to contact us at any time regarding this matter. Email is our preferred method of communication. Please respond to the email chain sent to you or assist at lambertworldwide.com. When sending an email, please reference our client's name and your organization as well. Thank you sincerely. John Lambert, Esquire Managing Director. Lambert Worldwide. Apparently, I should have had this playing in the background whilst... Uh, reading that out, I suppose. <laughs> nah, fuck off, Yankee. You made your bed, now lay in it. I'm not... Oh, jeez, not the next. Disgusting. Disgusting. Can't wait to see how you tell them to fuck off. Fuck you and your glow-in-the-dark dad. You made your bed, now lie in it. <laughs> Here is our compromise. No. She's squirming. Good. Send feet fix. <laughs> Fuck off, Bella. <laughs> oh, so polite, but keep, obviously. It's only been a few months. <laughs> eat shit, Chloe. Eat shit and die. Never let her... F <laughs> never let her forever be known as... <laughs> now nah, let her forever be known as the ancestral. <laughs> <sighs> yep. Yeah, the greatest Chris Chan troll deserves to be remembered in the Chris Tree for time memorial. Yeah, I, I'm not reading any more of the reactions, to be honest. <laughs> oh, Kiwi Farms. Too much sometimes, just too much. Too much. Far too much. Far too much. Oh my god, too much. You don't have to fight evil with evil. You don't have to deprave yourself in order to tear down those that are awful, you know? Their words hurt people far less than the actions of those that they condemn. Although I don't approve the racism ever. And I don't approve the homophobic language ever. So. Still not as bad as filming somebody rape their mum and encouraging it and laughing about it, though. That's definitely still worse, I would say. Personally. Personally. Yeah, people take themselves down by reacting to Kiwi Farms, that's the fact. Alright. It's the perfect time. <laughs> Spooping. 
It's Halloween. This is the All Hallows Ween. <laughs> <laughs> 